There are so many options when it comes to material available for countertops, but there's a precision in the technique to make it all fit seamlessly into your space. Jason went to Latitude to see how it all fits together. Hey everyone, welcome to the Latitude Fabrication Facility. We're here to give you a behind the scenes tour of how they take your countertops from start to finish. So after on-site templating, everything comes back to here for the magic to happen. It goes through quality control to make sure all the veins match up, all the cuts line up within the millimeter, and all the site preparation is, is thought of. All of that needs to be thought of prior to cutting happening. So once you've picked out your slab, it comes directly here from any distributor, like SEA, for example. They get stacked here, ready for the cutting process. We're in front of the manual saw, or the bridge saw, as some people call it. This saw is used for straight line cuts, squares, or miters. Another item for the operators to be aware of is the actual design of the slab itself. As you can see with porcelain and coarse designs, the veins are very intricate. Every cut needs to line up, so in the end result, it all looks like one continuous slab. These slabs are only a certain size, and when you have big kitchens, you have to join them together. Having them all match up and make it look like it's one continuous piece is an art form. So all the leftover pieces from that manual saw come right over here. We're standing in front of the natural stone section of the remnant area. These are all smaller pieces that have come from other projects, leftover pieces, bigger slabs that can be bought by other people and reused. We don't want to throw anything to the landfill here. We want to maximize every square inch. Now we're in front of the robotic saw. Any material that can't be cut for intricate designs on the manual saw comes over here. Things like backsplash outlet covers, uh, very intricate designs like the City Line logo that we're gonna show you, those all come here. They get programmed on this saw and then it cuts it out with water, pressurized water. It is a fantastic piece of machinery. Let's see it in action. So once the cut is finalized on the robotic saw, it heads over to the CNC for some final details. This is completely computer operated. This is one of the final steps of the fabrication process where you work on fine details like edge profiles. So now we're in front of the polishing station. As you can see, it gets a little bit messy. They use up to six different pads to polish all these edges to get different kinds of finishes from extra glossy to matte to leather finish. It all depends on what kind of pads you use and how hard you go with those polishing. This is where all the details get finalized and get ready to get these slabs shipped out and installed. Here at Latitude, being environmentally friendly is a big priority for them. All of the water in this plant goes through underground troughs and makes it back to this filtration system. This filtration system will then clean all the water, purify it, so they can reuse it again for all their saws. It even goes through a secondary purification process for the robotic saws, because that takes a very fine amount of water and it needs to be crystal clear. This system filters 15,000 liters of water per hour. To put it in perspective, your average water bottle is half a liter. That means 30,000 water bottles go through this filtration system every hour, 20 hours a day. Mind boggling. Okay, I had no idea how much preci precision went into making all of these different cuts that we have. And it's like, I'm completely mesmerized. It's a, I was it, like, tell me more. It's a process that nobody really knows about what happens behind the scenes. They yeah. just see their beautiful counters and expect it happens with a snap of the fingers. It's phenomenal. And you even mentioned uh, in that piece of tape, like look at the precision that went into making this beautiful city line like cut stone. So when we talk about like measure twice, install once yeah. or whatever, like measure many, many, many times, because you're dealing with stone and you've got to get it on point. Oh, there's no erasers for these things. <laughs>